hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your beautiful baby girl kemzi O. if you're new to this channel you're welcome in this channel i talk about relocation tips life abroad and faith and if you're a returning subscriber you guys are always the best thank you for your love and your support i am grateful for this guys i am super excited about this great opportunity i have brought to you this college in canada is not accepting any application fee guys you're applying for your programs free of charge i'm not even joking i'm going to be showing you in a minute and also another juicy part is that there are tons and tons of scholarship and grants that you're eligible for if you apply to this program also the tuition fee is very very affordable so please i want you to announce this opportunity watch this video to the very end because i'll be explaining the process the name of the college is aurora college so when you go to your browser guys type aurora college canada it says welcome to aurora college on behalf of our academic community i thank you for your interest and i encourage you to continue to explore more about what we have to offer for more than 50 years aurora college has provided quality education and research opportunities for the residents of the northwest territory and beyond there are a number of ways to connect with us if you prefer a face-to-face -face interaction you could drop it in any of our three campuses so basically guys the college has three campuses you have yellow knife north slave campus in yellow knife Tebatra campus in Fort Smith and Aurora campus in Inuvik. Guys, I have done my research and I can confirm to you that these three locations or these three campuses are eligible to provide postgraduate work permits after your studies okay the college is a designated learning institution and after your studies guys you're able to apply for a postgraduate work permit it means you can stay back in canada to work after your studies okay so this is a very very interesting one so because i don't want to make this video so long i'll quickly show you how you can apply for programs and also to let you know that you're not paying anything the application fee is free so let's explore the programs okay i'm going to click explore programs and this is the page guys you have quite a lot of programs there's definitely something for everyone okay so take your time guys look at the courses that are being offered there are different departments and you can always click on any one of them to you know check out the programs that are available so this is just the programs i'll quickly look at how we can apply so when you click on how to apply okay it's going to explain the process now for this academic section it is closed which is 2023 2024 the academic year is closed but this video is specifically for those that intend to go to canada in 2024 so application for 2024 2025 academic year will open on the 1st of november 2023 so the application is opening very soon so i want to beg you guys make sure you read through the requirements get all your documents ready so that once the application open you can be among the first set of people to apply so it says here guys that application for aurora college programs can be completed online for any of the program listed below apply online so if you're unable to apply online you can send a mail to any of those addresses here so the three different colleges has their different email address as stated here okay so make sure you send them an email if you're having any challenge so for domestic students i mean those that are currently in canada these are the programs available for you okay for international students it says here international students can click here for more information i'm going to click on that link okay and it brought me to this page so this is the information you need as an international student it says here guys that an international student is a foreign national who is authorized to study in canada under a study permit as defined by the immigration and refugee protection act and regulations a foreign national is a person who is neither a canadian citizen nor a permanent resident most of us know this okay so basically if you're an international student and you're interested in applying for this program please you need to read this page and this is a very very important in fact one of the most important information of this application there is currently no application fee 
for international students so you're not paying any application fee guys i want you to take advantage of this opportunity okay but it also says that however if you are offered a seat in aurora college program you will be required to make a non-refundable deposit of 500 dollars to hold your seat i think this is fair enough guys 500 dollars is one of the cheapest deposits i've seen okay because most schools in canada you need to pay quite a lot of deposits but this is just 500 dollars i feel it's something you should take advantage of all right and it says that some programs may hold seats for international application based on previous year trend of enrollment of domestic students so guys i want to encourage you once this application is open by 1st of november apply immediately guys trust me this school will be very very competitive i have a feeling that it's going to be competitive because look at it you're not paying any application fee you only need to pay 500 dollars as a deposit so i think it's something that most people will want to you know take advantage of and there's one more thing guys about this college i'm going to show you as we proceed so please keep watching this video upon receipt of international application we will inform the applicants by email of whether your international application will be considered or not so definitely you will get a response when you apply new international applicants may be required to provide results of an english language proficiency test at the time of application so as you can see guys it's a maybe they didn't say you have to provide an english result so i think it's dependent on probably the program of choice whether you're from an english speaking country or your mode of communication was in english i think all these things will come into play all right so we need to wait until 1st of november when the application is open then we'll see but what i would just advise if you have ielts or you have duolingo or you have any form of english proficiency just you know have it with you if they need it you submit it or sometimes they might even request for your YEC. that is for those in africa or your secondary school certificate take your time guys read through the requirements trust me this is an opportunity i don't want you to take for granted okay another interesting thing guys is the tuition fee guys can you see that tuition and fee tuition for international students as of 1st of july 2020 is 5400 canadian dollars plus student fee per semester for most degree diploma and certificate programs this is quite affordable compared to other canadian schools okay so guys i want to show you some financial assistance available for students in this college when you go to how to apply guys then you scroll down until you get to the important stuff so you have student financial assistance and isets when you click on that it says see all funding programs guys i have taken my time to check this there are a whole lot of funding available okay so you need to check them one after the other see if it's something you're eligible for there are some funding whereby as an international student you might not be eligible for them now but when you start your program okay you'll be eligible for most of them it could be based on your gpa or cgpa you know these are things that are available in canada so the next frequently answered question is what form do i need to fill out and where can i find them i think this is straightforward i already said it before so you need to complete an online application form but i said it's opening on the 1st of november okay so you need to wait till november before you can apply it says when do i need to apply for student financial assistance it is never too early to apply for student financial assistance but if you apply later than june 30th for the fall you may not receive your funding by the beginning of the term the next question says is there an application field i think we all know the answer it is a no does aurora college have a daycare for students aurora college does not have a daycare okay please check the student toolkit for more information about child care options what if i have money owing to aurora college if you have an astounding balance owing to aurora college you must pay it before your application will be processed all right so guys if you have any questions these are the email addresses of the admission officer please contact them depending on the campus you choose like i said they have three campuses they have in fort smith in invic and in yellow knife so depending on the one you choose to go to or depending on where your course is available 
then you can decide for yourself and i wish you all the best in your application thank you for watching guys and don't forget to show your baby girl some love by subscribing to my channel like this video so youtube can recommend it to others share to everyone around you and turn on your notification bell so when i drop value-based video you will be the first to be notified and guys i'm gonna see you in my next video bye